Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial, we are going to be working on the Modern Paintings Scarf. Now, if you happen to notice, there's a matching hat pattern that Crystal from Bag of Day did. So uh, I'm doing the matching hat. So if you check out my description box down there, there is a link for her video for, this, for the hat that matches the scarf. Now, this scarf, let's talk about it for a minute. It measures six and a half inches wide by uh, 65 inches long. Now, you don't have to make it that long. You can make it longer or shorter. You can make it wider or not as wide. <laughs> I don't know what the word for not as wide is. But, so, um, the stitch pattern for this scarf is the rice stitch. Now, the rice stitch consists of front post, back post, front post, back post. We start with a half double, front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, back post back post we end with a front post and then the uh we end the last post stitch i should say is a front post and then the last stitch of the row is a half double so we start with a half double half double that blocks off all of our post stitches which always start with a front and a end in a front post okay so it's a one row repeat we just repeat that row over and over and over and over and over again until you get to the length that you like which i like a longer one so mine is uh, 65 inches long now the stitch uh, multiple for this is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1. So any even number plus 1. So for this one, we're going to chain 31. So we got our 30, which is our even number, then we add 1. So you guys can adjust that however you want to. Um, let's see. Let's talk about what we're going to need. So you're going to need... A needle to weave in your ends, a pair of scissors, a six millimeter crochet hook, and I used two skeins of this Red Heart Super Saver Ombre in the color Deep Teal. Now I used all of one skein and about, oh, I'd say about a quarter of another of the second skein, and these have 482 yards in them. So that kind of gives you an idea of what you're going to need for yardage if you don't want to use ombre. You can use any four weight you want to. You don't have to use the four weight that I used. Um, one other supply you may need is a tape measure to keep track of the length of your scarf. Let's see. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. Don't forget, check out Crystal's video for the matching hat to this scarf. I'm excited to make it because I want the matching hat too because <laughs> I like the scarf. This is a fun stitch pattern. Um, stitch identification is key in this scarf. Once you can get that down, you're going to buzz right through this. All right, guys, get your supplies together and let's get started. Alrighty, to get started with our scarf, we're going to get a slip knot on our hook. Make sure you leave enough tail so we can weave that in. And we're going to chain 31. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm not going to make you watch me chain 31. <laughs> okay, I got my chain of 31 done. Now I'm going to uh, double crochet into the fourth chain from our hook. So right there is our first, second, third, and fourth. So I'm going to yarn over and double crochet right in there. And then I'm going to double crochet into all of my remaining chains. So go ahead and get yours double, oops, I split that, double crocheted all the way down. And I will meet you when we get to the end. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've made it to the end. I've got one more chain to work into right there, and that gets a double crochet. All right, so that's the end of row one, and we're going to move on to row two by chaining one and turn. Pull my sleeves up here. Okay, so what we're going to do is into that very first double crochet, we're going to work a half double. So half double. And now, like I said, this is a one row repeat. So to begin, get myself some slack here, to begin our row, 
we start with a front post double crochet. So we yarn over, and if you need to pull your stitches apart so you can see where the post of your stitches are, pull it apart. It's not gonna hurt anything. So spread that open, and you can see there's the post of our double crochet. So we're gonna come down and go in on the right, come out on the left, and then work our double crochet around there just like normal. Now the next double crochet, pull it apart so you can see where you're going gets a back, a back, um, a back post. I about said back loop, back post, double crochet. And that we come to the back of our work and come out on the right and in on the left. So what it's doing is pulling that post to the back of our work. And then we repeat front post, back post. front post, pull it apart if you need to, you can see that very next post, and that gets the back post. Pull it apart, so find your next one, front post, the next one gets a back post. Oops, I lost my yarn over, and we back post. Pull that open, find your next post. We just did a back post, so now we do a front post. Now let's say you're working along and you kinda, you lose track of what which one you're supposed to be doing. So if you look at this, you can see all of our front po well, if I get closer, there you can see it better. So all of the front posts are um, offset towards us, right? And then the back posts are kind of um, pushed away from us. They're to the back. So you're working along, you're working along, you just worked, worked a stitch and you're, you, you're confused and you don't know where, what's next. Look at what your last, you know, your last stitch is. Is that stitch poked out at you or is it away from you? And then you'll be able to know, I just worked a front post, so my next one is a back post. All right, so I'm going to let you guys finish this row. Front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, back post, all the way across. I'm going to meet you at these last two stitches, okay? Okay, so I've stopped with a front post, and I've got two double crochet left, and then we've got that beginning chain, the uh, chain three right there. So I've got a back post to work, and my very last one is a front post. And then into our last one, we work a half double crochet. And we wanna work that into the top of that chain three. So if you pull it out a little bit, you can see right there's the back lump of uh, your first chain. There's your second and your third one is right on top of there. And we're gonna slip stitch right into the top of that third. Or well, it would be the first, but we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that. And then we're just going to repeat that row, that row, chain one, turn. So every row starts with a half double. So it starts with a half double, ends with a half double. But your first and last post stitch are always going to be front posts. So if you mess up somewhere and you don't realize it, let's say you start with your front post, but you come down here into your very last a post stitch and it happens to be a back post you know you've messed up somewhere in here and you've got to come you know cut pull it out and start over again because it's it's half double front post back front back front back front back front we end with a front post and then our half double so what i was telling you on uh the that last row that we did with the posts I, after I did that and I, I went off camera and I finished the row, I thought I should have waited to tell you guys about how, um, you, how you can get lost in your stitches until this row, because this row is kind of, it, it shows more of how it can get a little confusing in your stitches. So we just worked our half double and just like always, we start with a front post. So we yarn over and pull it apart and look right there's your post. So we go in on the right, come out on the left, and work our post. And now our next stitch, we work a back post. Pull it 
pull it apart. See your next post right there? Where it is a front post. Pull it apart. Look. Back post. So basically what we're doing is we're working front post, back post, front post, back post, right? Okay, so on this side, all of the front posts we work on this side, when we turn it, they become back posts. And then the back posts that we worked on this side, when we turn it, become our front posts. So another little trick to make sure you're keeping yourself on track uh, for, you know, if when you work the front post back, front post back, and then you, you know, let's say you lose track of where you are, it's always going to be opposite of what your next stitch is. So my next stitch, looking at that, that's a back post. And I know a back post gets the front post. That's a front post gets the back post. Which, and it is 100% not my intention to confuse, confuse you guys, so I'm not going to, you know, get too much into it. But I just want to give you little little uh, tidbits of ways to keep yourself on track and little hints to help you guys out so you don't get lost. But basically, we're just going to repeat that row. Start with a half double. Your first post stitch is a front post. Front post, back post, front post, back post all the way across and I'm going to repeat that because I want to show you guys something down here too that can get a little bit confusing. So I'm going to finish this row and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've made it to the end and I just worked a front post and I pull apart. Right there's my next post that gets a back post. Now it's a little tricky to see, but there's still one more post stitch before that beginning half double crochet. And you gotta pull it apart. And if you see, let me get my needle so I can point. So if I pull this, pull this apart, there's still a stitch there. The only thing is this part right here, that is the that's the top right here. It's that part of that last post stitch that we worked. It just, on this one, it's a little bit bigger because we started with a half double and then went up to a front post double. So what we need to do is just get in there and kind of move that around with your hook. Don't use a needle. <laughs> So I'm going to yarn over because the last post stitch is always going to be a front post. So I'm going to go in and then when I come out, I'm going to make sure that bar right here, make sure that bar is at the top of your crochet hook and then you are on the post of that, of that double crochet. So you just worked your last front post. And now we work our half double crochet and the top of it's turned just a tad bit. So if you just rotate it just a little there, you'll see it and half double crochet into there. So right here is, I'm going to show you guys right here is where that last, uh, stitch that you work around, how it gets a little wonky looking. So when we chain one and turn, start the row, row two again, we half double crochet into the first stitch. And see how it's it's really short right there and then when we come over and find our post and it starts with the front post and work our front post see how big that top is so if we turn that around well it didn't slide out there you can see how it, it'd be really easy to skip that one that last post okay so I hope I didn't confuse you guys. I hope I didn't make it worse or anything like that because it's not that complicated. Once you just get your stitch identification, you know, once you get that down and, you know, you get you, your rhythm going and you know what you're working with, you know, front post, back post, front post, back post. Pull it apart a little bit. You can see that post right there. And by looking at it, you can tell that's a back post that gets a front post. 
front post gets back post. Front post. And just like that. And that's it, guys. You are just going to repeat row two, half double crochet into the first stitch. Always, your, your post stitches always start with the front post. Back front, back front, back front, back front, back front. And then find. make sure you find that last post stitch. Get your fingers in there. Don't be afraid to move it around a little bit. And there's your last post. And the last post is always going to be a front post. And then turn that just a tad. Right there is the top of your... Focus here. Right there is the top of your half double crochet that gets that half double crochet. All right? So repeat that and repeat that until your scarf measures 60 to 65. I like 65. I like a longer scarf. And then, uh, so it's crochet, or, or uh, re I'm sorry, repeat your row and repeat it until your scarf measures the length you like. And like I said, I like the 65 inches. All right, so get your scarf done and then come back. Okay, so once you get your scarf to the length you like, all we are going to do is work your last half double crochet into the top of your half double, chain one, pull up a loop, and cut, pull that out, weave in all your ends, and your scarf is done. Isn't that, oh, this is so pretty. I love that stitch pattern. Okay, guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. I hope I didn't confuse you. <laughs> if you need any help whatsoever, do not hesitate to email me. My email address is in the description box, along with links to my Facebook group, my Instagram, my Twitter. Um, there's all kinds of links down there for you guys. So check that out. And also is the link to the matching hat that Crystal made at uh, Bag o Day. Obviously, you guys know who she is. <laughs> if you don't, go subscribe. You'll love her. <laughs> of course, you know who she is. All right, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. I truly ap appreciate you uh, stopping by and checking out my tutorial. Leave me a comment. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.